With car payments and dealer markups skyrocketing, one thing we can all agree on is that the world needs simple, cheap, and reliable new cars. Up until 2022, Chevrolet offered the Spark as a subcompact hatchback that had a base price of just $14,600 for its last model year. That figure seems unreal just a few years later, but there is hope again. A new Chevy model has been spotted in Brazil, and it will be called the Spark EUV. Today, I'll be offering an early look at this all new model, and while there's no sign that the model will make it to the North American market just yet, I do think this is still a good sign for budget subcompacts in the future, because this model is actually a rebadge of another model that is sold by GM in China as the Baojun Yep, and GM has made the decision to bring that over to the Western Hemisphere. First, let's start with some spy shots of the Spark EUV, and I'll show you the Yep as I go into some of the details, so that's why you'll see a different badge on some pictures. Right away, there is a stark contrast between this new Spark EUV and the previous generation of the Spark. The new Spark strikes some sort of balance between cutesy and rugged, with this small boxy design that also incorporates many rounded lines. There is a gloss black grill area that serves as the main design feature on the front fascia. And with this Brazilian model, we can see the classic Chevy bow tie. The headlight design is quite interesting. There are basically four little daytime running lights that sit around the main headlight that is located in the center. I think it looks fine, but What's weird is it really reminds me of Porsche's headlights, especially something like the Macan. The bumper is one area where the Spark looks more rugged than cute, with this off-road looking design finished in gunmetal gray. The side profile gives off a Land Rover Defender vibe, and while we can see four doors here, the sister model in China is offered in both two-door and four-door configurations, so that should still be the case for the Spark in the South American market. There is some gunmetal gray cladding around the vehicle that contrasts nicely with this bright green yellow body color. Again, this is where the Spark nicely strikes a balance between cute and rugged, and I think it does a very nice job of this. Also, on the four-door configuration, there's this body color trim piece where you might expect to see a window. I suspect this is a cost-cutting measure, but it still looks all right and gives the vehicle a little bit of character. The roof line is mostly flat and the roof racks are a nice addition that add to the practicality of this car as it won't offer a ton of cargo room inside just with this vehicle being so small. Coming around to this squared off rear end, we can see a Spark EUV badge as well as a badge that says active which is presumably the trim level. GM likes to use this EUV acronym instead of SUV, I guess, but it just means electric utility vehicle. They did this as well with the Bolt. The back end has this rugged rear bumper that mirrors the front, and there are fairly basic rectangular taillights. Overall, I do like this design. I think the boxier look works a lot better than the old Spark, which just seemed too overstyled and angular. Heading inside, we'll take a look at the Baojun badged model, but this is still a GM we're dealing with, so the Spark's interior should be virtually unchanged from what you see in here, aside from the badge, of course. I think this interior is actually quite nice for this segment and price point. As you might expect, it's fairly basic, but I think that works in leaning towards that rugged feel. There is one large screen that is split evenly into the gauge cluster and infotainment screen. There are a decent amount of physical controls, especially by EV standards. There is this row of buttons below the infotainment screen where you can quickly access all of the climate controls. There isn't much of a center console on the two-door version. Instead, you have a rotary gear selector and a drive mode selector, but the four-door version does add this plush armrest and cup holders. Also on that four-door version, the gauge cluster and infotainment screen are split into separate screens for some reason. 
behind the driver's seat. The two-door does offer rear seats, but they aren't really for everyday use as they are very cramped. And even with the four-door version, I wouldn't say this car is really for people who will be using the rear seats very much. Probably most people will just fold them down and try to maximize the cargo area, which will be decent considering the overall footprint of this vehicle due to that boxy look, which gives you a lot of height and doesn't cut the corners at all with that rear cargo area. So you can really stack things up if you need to. And while the Spark EUV has a look that lends some off-road credibility, the mechanical and performance specs tell a different story, as you might expect. The Spark should come equipped with just one electric motor that will be mounted on the rear axle and drive the rear wheels. This singular motor will provide the new Spark with just 100 horsepower. The Spark will also sit pretty low, as EVs tend to, and it will have a smaller wheel and tire setup. So, it definitely won't be capable of taking on anything beyond gravel or maybe some dirt roads. This will be okay as the big cities of Brazil will be the Spark's main target. And here it is rated for a decent range of about 250 miles. However, that number comes from China's testing, which is known to yield higher range numbers compared to the EPA system in most cases. The Spark should be coming for the 2026 model year as the model is pretty much finished. Uh, there's no more development or anything that GM has to do on the vehicle. It's more so just getting it ready to launch in a new market. It will have a starting price in Brazil that is equivalent to about $21,000. While it seems to be launching in Brazil at first, GM has also trademarked the Spark nameplate in countries around Southeast Asia. So the big question here is, will this new Chevy Spark EUV come to the United States? Probably not. Although I think GM will try to get something similar here. While GM does build some models in China and then ship them back to the US, this is considerably more expensive with EVs, which have higher tariffs. So the Spark being manufactured in China is a big reason why GM can offer the vehicle at such a low price. However, importing it into the US will erase all of those savings. That's not to say that there isn't a workaround out there in which most of the vehicle would be built in China and then transported as parts before it would be assembled in the US. Something like that could be a way to have ultra cheap cars find their way back to the US market. But right now, GM is spending its resources in America on developing the next gen Bolt which will likely run in the high 20s. Still, I think there's room for something even cheaper, especially if VinFast can come through with the VF3, a model that is similar to the Spark EUV, and VinFast thinks it can sell the VF3 for around that twenty dollars to $25,000 price point in the United States. So that would definitely step up the competition heavily for GM. I made a video about the VF3 that will be linked at the top right corner, and I'm also planning on covering the next-gen Bolt, so be on the lookout for that. On this channel, I talk about car news like this, as well as history and culture, so make sure to give the video a like and subscribe so you won't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.